Thank you, Kirill. Uh, I find myself in the position where uh, Senator McDowell has stolen all my lines. <laughs> um, I, I believe that there is bona fides in the presenting of this bill in the first place, but I think we can never say anything on it unless we, we begin and preface all our remarks by acknowledging the context and the appalling um, wounding and trauma and re-traumatizing that is going on uh, in the course of this. And, and I think that there was an original intent here to see a legal problem, um, see a deadline, a a deal with that legal problem with the hope uh, that actually it would release information as opposed to uh, withhold it. And in the public narrative of all of that, um, that has been changed, amended, um, wantonly misrepresented at times. Uh, and, and I think we need to come back to the basics of that this, this was about assisting people in accessing information. And in that regard, I, I welcome the amendments that you've brought forward and that you've listened to the debate. And I think it was a very worthy debate in this House. Um, there's no question about that. I uh, would agree with uh, Senator Higgins's views in that you are now going to receive all of this data as a consequence of your own amendments. Um, and I very much welcome that. However, that now puts you in control and that now puts you in a place. At the moment, there is a piece of legislation that says what you have to do. That has been um, amended, whether we like it or not, or whether it was intentional or not, it was amended by GDPR and in the bringing into law of the GDPR, the transposing of it into Irish law, we made an amendment to the 2004 Act to allow for the competing um, balancing act of Article 23 and Article 15. However, there is subsequent EU rulings on um, the entitlement, and there is a fundamental human right on entitlement to information. And while I agree with the spirit of uh, Senator Higgins's amendments, and I also agree that you need to now be doing a DPIA, you need to be engaging in that process. But I think that we need to do that very, very quickly, ideally in the Joint Oireachtas Committee, uh, but we need to be doing that very quickly with a view to how do we resolve, set in place a mechanism very quickly that takes into account all of the things that we want to address now and urgently but in the fear that the pressing need of people to have their own information and have access to the information that they should lawfully be given, that there are unintended consequences on other commissions, on other, on other witnesses, on other situations. So we've got to consider that wider context. And unfortunately, I think government don't have the luxury of merely addressing one thing. They've got to consider what are the ramifications of that. So I think we need that to happen ideally within the Joint Oireachtas Committee or some other specially created forum for this particular issue, uh, to bring in experts, to bring in people from all sides of the House and stakeholders to ensure that we reach a solution to the issues being presented by people who want contact with their relatives. So they want contact, they want to know who they are and where they came from and why their lives transpired the way they are. Um, and I think they're entitled to that information. I think GDPR does provide that, but we do have a, a balancing to do in, uh, under Article 23, and, and we need to do those two things. There are competing rights here, but the rights of individuals should trump everything else. But, but as a state, the, the, our politics is supposed to be the art uh, of, of the impossible, the art of what can, what can be done here, and that we can move together and do that. Not politicize it, but actually move together and do that in acknowledgement of the hurt that, that is going on, and I believe that it is important that we do that and do it quickly, Minister. And so I suppose I would echo um, Senator Doherty's, uh, the leader's question of, you have the archive, now, now what are you planning to do with it?